you. You've worked hard. You went to the shop, you bought your crop, you bought some compost, you went out, you buried them, you fed them, fertilised, watered them, looked after them, treated them like your own children. And now it's time to harvest them, dig them up and eat them like you would your own children. Many of you doubted yourself. I can't grow potatoes, Robbie. I don't know how to. I'm not good enough. I've not got the skills. Well, look at you now. You've got loads of spuds and you should be very, very proud. But there can only be one winner. Well, technically, you've all won the prize of nutrient-dense, delightful home-cooked potatoes and all that starchy goodness. Mash, roast, your options are endless as long as they involve the cooking of potatoes. But there's only going to be one that will win the coveted title of Potato of the Year. So here's a guide to getting your potatoes from the ground to the winner's podium. The first step is harvesting your spuds and you're going to be surprised by quite how many you've managed to create. Look through, get to know each potato as it comes out, have a look at them, check what they look like and move on. When you go through, you might find some that are green or have got green bits on them. You want to discard those, they're poisonous, not for eating. Sorry. The next step is to spend some time with your potatoes. Really get to know them. When you've harvested all the ones you want, have a little look at them, have a little play with them, feel them, touch them. Learn all about them, learn their personalities, their eccentricities. Because you only get to enter one spud in the contest. Is it going to be a big, meaty beast, a very powerful show of strength from your garden. A beautiful tiny round potato, look at that. Is he going to be one that you use to explain yourself? Or is it going to be a slightly weird shaped one? It's a bit green, probably not that one. And now the most important part, displaying your potato, showing people how good it is. You know its personality, you know what it's like. Use the most artistic way you can think of it. Try a few different things out. Pick one photo that sums up your potato the best. Perfect. You've harvested, you've picked your potatoes and you've chosen that photo that sums up your potato perfectly. The one that really tells a thousand potato-y words, the one that shows its life, its personality, its appearance, everything to the finest possible degree. Then what you need to do, you need to send that photo to me. Include any contact details you want, I guess probably your email address suffice or a number or something like that, whatever, whatever you want. Um, send that over, I'll put the address down below in the, in the little description-y bit of the video down there. Uh, and you can enter. Uh, with that, there's a few other things you need to include in it. You need to include a few words about your potato, like a paragraph, a sentence, it doesn't really matter. Say about why you chose this potato, anything about your experience of growing it, perhaps something about its personality or its, its looks or something. Maybe the artistic interpretation that you've gone for in the photograph. What was your vision when you were photographing your potato? So do that. Uh, send that over. We're going to have a gallery uh, in a future video of all the greatest potatoes that have been grown and quite honestly probably all the potatoes that have been grown. Also worth sending over if you've got any evidence that you grew the potato because there might be some unscrupulous types who are thinking oh I'll just go down Sainsbury's or Lidl and get a potato and pretend it's my own. Try to include something, a photo of where you grew it or something along those lines, some kind of evidence if you've got it and then that can only strengthen your case. It's going to be an independent judge deciding who has created the greatest potato so everything you can do to support your case will help. Thank you so much for entering. I know a lot of people have been really amazed that they've actually managed to grow potatoes but they're a really versatile vegetable, good, good easy growing vegetable. You kind of just put it in the ground and water it a little bit and it's probably all right. So I'm going to go off cook the first spuds of the season uh, probably just boil them maybe, yeah, nothing too fancy. Uh, I'm going to do that um, and I'll leave you to get photographing, get entering and just enjoying your potatoes. Thanks for watching, Potatoes for Life. Mm -hmm.